Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kaprash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. And to the speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations. To y'all say Shalom. And Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be out there listening and learning to these videos. Shalom to all you brothers and all you occupants. This out there, the Hobbies and Bowies, the 144,000, and the rest of one third. <clears throat> I also want to say shalom to y'all. This video is for the Israelites. The Israelites are who you call today, so called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Those are the Israelites, always have been, always will be. But I'm coming back at y'all with another video. Um, it's basically like a similar video to this, uh, to this brother or, or elder's video. Okay, I got it on the screen. Um, I, I want to say, you know, that the, uh, I listened to this video, I think, yesterday, I believe. And he was, the, the brother or elder was talking about how, you know, he was, I think he said he was, you know, on the plantation and just sitting and uh, chilling. You know, but the, 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 the y'all can see the title of the video, so that the video is, you know, about fearing the Lord more, but... He was just talking about how he was thinking about fearing the Lord, meditating about the power and fearing the Lord more and stuff like that. And he's seen like a, an angel fly over him. And I believe today I've I probably seen an angel, you know, like not like in the uh, angelic form, like as far as like the, a chariot shooting across the sky, you know. So this is like a, a little testimony video. You know, I believe it possibly was because it looked the same. It looked like it was the same exact color, like kind of it was that color. I've seen it this morning. It was green. I was uh, driving back home this morning um, and I just seen it go across the sky like real quick. And I was like, oh, what was that? You know, <laughs> it's one of those moments. Oh, you know, what was that? And I believe it, you know, it, it may have been a chariot, you know, the Lord is definitely showing signs, man. You know, even when you ain't looking for it, you know, the Lord will show you signs. You know, that's why, you know, brothers should look up sometimes, you know. You, you'll be amazed at what you see. You know, we're just in the time of, of great power and salvation, you know, coming most importantly to the elect. You know, a matter of fact, earlier this morning when I did see uh, it dart across the sky, I was listening to another brother's video. Um, and he was talking about the power that's coming to the elect. And then I was at that same time when I, as soon as I turned the video on, I seen that dart across the sky. And it like disappeared. You know? So we got to keep going to this thing, man. You know, call Allah, you have know, a shine, man, you know, to be awake, awakened to this truth and, you know, still here. You know, because brothers fall out every day. You know, it's the, the uh, what they call it, the sifting train. It's, it, ain't, it ain't never stopping. It's, it's, it's always happening. It's gonna happen to the kingdom, you know. Um, but I want to get this uh, in Romans 13 and verse 11, right? Because we gotta understand, man. The Lord is gonna defend, you know, those that are His, man. You know, His elect. He's gonna defend them, no matter what. No, no matter what you, you go through, the Lord got the elect. It doesn't matter. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. You know, you could be in the most effed up situation. And the Lord work a miracle when you least expect it, but it takes faith. You know, if you don't believe, then you know the Lord ain't gonna act for you. He ain't gonna act because uh, it says in the book of Hebrews, it says uh, without faith it is impossible to please Him. You know, and uh, to believe in to believe in this truth in this entirety, a hundred percent. You know, and to have the right doctrine, you know, first and foremost, a guy can be given to you by Yahweh Hashem And to, uh, you know, be, to be a part of the elect, you can't choose yourself to be a part of the elect and everything. But, you know, to, to, to see miracles and to have that happen and stuff, you know, you got to believe. But uh, I want to get this in, uh, what did I say, Romans? I could not find it. Romans 13 and 11. Right? It says, uh, it says at that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, right? It, hey, it's time to get on the ball even more, you know? It says, for now is our salvation, everything we will believe that what's, what's our salvation, Lord willing? You know, get beat up into a chariot. Now, it sounds crazy 
to the average person because they don't have the understanding that the Lord's not dealing with them. The Lord's only dealing with the elect of Israel. You know? The Lord only chose one nation of people who, he's, he, who he gave his uh, commandments to, who he chose to deal with. You know, who he chose to uh, open up their minds to. You know? I was an Israelite, but Israelites. And at this time, it's, it's the elect of the Israelites. You know? It says in the book of Isaiah uh, chapter 10, verse 21. That's just a scripture I can remember off the top of my head. I'll get it real quick. It's Isaiah 10 and 21. Right? Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and such as escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more stay again upon, so like it, shall no more stay upon him that smote them. But who smote us? Esau, Edom. That, that's the, the, the nation of people that have, you know, hey, they, they've brought destruction out to us. They've put us in captivity, you know. They've, they've done nothing but hell and destruction to us, you know. It says, but but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. You know, and the, the elect is doing that now, you know, to a certain extent. But it's going to be fully when Jacob's struggle pops off, when, uh, when the great time of tribulation pops off, you know. You ain't gonna be able to go to the grocery store and get food and you know uh, you have to pay rent, you know, you're gonna be able to do all that. When the MOTP is you know implemented and stuff is mandatory, that's when we're gonna have to have complete faith. And we gotta have complete faith now, you know. But it's gonna increase, it's gonna have to increase in those days, because you're gonna need big faith, you know. It's verse 21, it says the remnant should return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. Yeah, how well by should be all shut. You see, so it ain't about all of our people right now. So it's about the elect. And the elect are going to be the ones that see those miracles. They get to witness them. They get to be a part of them. That, the miracles ain't going to be just be done for anybody. You know? The elect is going to know the names of the Lord. You know? They're going to have that, that name written in their forehead. Spiritually, they're going to know the names of Yahweh, and they, which is the name of the Father, who the world calls God, you know, Most High. And they're going to know the name Yahweh Shai, which is the, which is the name of the, our Lord and Savior, who the world calls the J word. I don't like saying that word because it reminds me of, you know, a pale flesh man, you know, that's that's not what our Savior looks like, you know. But um, I want to get this in uh, Hebrews, you know, uh, I believe it's, is it 11? It's a lot, I forgot where it was, but yeah, you know. You don't have faith the lord is not going to act for you you know you can't be in the spirit of doubt you know you, you wishy-washy you know you, you claim you with the lord one second and the next second you're not with the lord no it don't work like that man your your faith can't your faith has to be unmovable that has, that's how it has to be you know it has to be unmovable <laughs> it's like y'all can't even say the word uh Hebrews 12 or Hebrews 11. Yep, Hebrews 11 and verse 6 it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and, he, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Seek him. When you're diligent at something, you're consistently doing it. You're doing it over and over and over. You know, it's repetition. You know, you ain't just doing this sometimes. Take your breaks. Like, you got dudes that they don't go on the highways and byways in the, in the, in the wintertime, in the cold months. You know, you making videos once a month. You know, you can't be like that. The Lord ain't, the Lord ain't going to defend, as the elders of the Apostle of Great Millstone always say, the Lord ain't going to defend no man like that. You ain't consistent. You, you, uh, your ass is lukewarm as shit. So the, the thing the Lord's supposed to speak out of his mouth, but it was ultimately written for you to be like that. A view in that spirit of doing one video a damn month. You ain't going down the highways and byways. You start making all types of excuses. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, or, or if you just, you know, you just uh, teach a false doctrine in general. The Lord ain't going to defend no man. None of, none of these men that's out here teaching false doctrine and stuff like this. You know? <clears throat> but, yeah, I believe what I said earlier today, I definitely believe it was a chariot, man. You know? Because it, it was like this exact same color as the, uh, this brother or elders. You know, I don't know what he prefers to be called. So I'll like get, you know, if you see this. But, uh, you know, it looked, it looked like this exact same color. That's exactly how it looked in the sky. 
you know, it was like green. I just seen it for a split second. And I've only seen this a couple of times since I've been in the troop. I, I haven't seen it a lot, but I've seen it a couple of times, you know. Like I said, you know, for the Lord to work even more miracles, like I said, you, you, you got to have faith. That's, that's not what I said. It was what the scripture said, you know. Um, I want to get this in Syrac 2. Cyrek 2. What is this? Cyrek 2 and verse. Uh, 10. That's what the scripture is. Cyrek 2 and verse 10. It says, Look at the generations of old and see, did any ever trust in the Lord? And was confounded. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? It says, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the reason why I brought that scripture scripture out is because um a lot of the situations that the Lord's you know chose is gonna be in, they're gonna they're gonna have to have faith. You know, and that's gonna be in situations that's gonna seem like that's impossible. Ain't no way, ain't no way out. The Lord's gonna put us in situations. To where you know we're gonna have to call upon him, you know, and that's gonna take faith, you know, and that's why also these these stories were written like Daniel being uh, in the lion's den, um, the brothers being thrown in the furnace, um, what else? Joseph being thrown in the uh, you read that in Genesis? He was thrown in the what was it that dungeon? I gotta go back and read it, but basically because uh Pharaoh's wife, if you go read that in the story in Genesis. You know, he was thrown, he was falsely accused of trying to have sex with the Pharaoh's wife because she framed him because she, he didn't want to do it with her because he knew it was going to be adultery. Um, during, the, during the time of Maccabees where, you know, the, the seven brothers were, they were basically tortured and killed, you know. The Lord is going to put us in these situations to where we have to call upon him. But if you ain't a party like you're not going to have that faith. And the Lord ain't going to work miracles for you anyway. So that's why we hope to... The, we hope to you know, how about some y'all shout that we were part of the elect, man. But uh, I just wanted to do this quick video, man. That was my little testimony of, you know, a, sim a similar, you know, uh, video that the brother or elder did. Um, you know, because I, I think I believe I believe I seen the chariot today, you know, earlier shoot across the sky. And, uh, you know, it I didn't expect it, you know. The Lord always does things, you know. Right on time. The Lord is never late. You know, some people might think, oh, the Lord is late. No, no. The Lord don't do things on our time, man. You know? The Lord is always on time. You know, he's on his time, too. You know, he's not on our time. You know, that's why if it was up to us. The, the, the end would be the king. We would be in the kingdom, but it's not up to us. It's up to the Lord. You know, so I, I hope this video was edifying, man. You know, you elect out there. You elect brothers, you know. Keep pushing, man. Keep going out there on the highways and byways. We almost up out of here, man. And you know, I believe the the Lord's men, they gonna get spiritual power, man. They're gonna be able to run fast, they're gonna get super strength, be able to turn invisible. Cause I've I've had brothers in this thing, you know, that's have dream that that has that's has dreams about spiritual power. So I, I know this is gonna happen. And what I've seen today, that's just a confirmation, you know, of the Lord bringing that power. But we do have to for the Lord more like the, the title of this video says, you know. We do got to fear the Lord more. We can't be walking after our flesh. And I'm talking to myself first and foremost, man, because we suffer, you know, and I've been, hey, I've been, you know, challenged mentally, you know, with that. And, uh, yeah, but I hope this video was edifying to the elect, to the sheep, man, you know, and hey, keep watching, keep praying, you know, don't lose the faith, man, because the Lord's going to defend you, man. But, you know, you got to be a part of his elect. So till next time, I want to say, water, blah, 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 shalom.